Hello. This is the Cambridge Movers practice listening test. Test 3. Part 1. Look at part 1. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. There are a lot of people here today. Yes, there are. Can you see Mrs Brown? Yes. Where is she? She's riding her bicycle. Oh, yes. She rides very quickly, doesn't she? Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Where's Mrs Green? Do you know her? Yes. She's in front of the supermarket. Oh. What's she wearing? A red skirt and a red hat. Oh, yes. I can see her now. Two. Where's Paul? He's looking in the window of the toy shop with a friend. But which one is Paul? The boy who's carrying a school bag. Oh, I see him. Three. I need to find Mr Farmer. Can you see him? Yes, I can. Where is he? He's there in his car. Which car? The small blue one. Four. Look at Tom. He's very tired today. Where is he? He's sitting outside the bank. Well, he played a lot of tennis yesterday. Yes, that's why he's sitting down now. Five. Is that Sue? Where? Walking with the two children. Oh, yes, that's Sue. But who are the children? I think they're her cousins. Now listen to part one again. One. Where's Mrs Green? Do you know her? Yes. She's in front of the supermarket. Oh. What's she wearing? A red skirt and a red hat. Oh, yes. I can see her now. Two. Where's Paul? He's looking in the window of the toy shop with a friend. But which one is Paul? The boy who's carrying a school bag. Oh, I see him. 3. I need to find Mr Farmer. Can you see him? Yes, I can. Where is he? He's there in his car. Which car? The small blue one. 4. Look at Tom. He's very tired today. Where is he? He's sitting outside the bank. Well... He played a lot of tennis yesterday. Yes, that's why he's sitting down now. 5. Is that Sue? Where? Walking with the two children. Oh, yes, that's Sue. But who are the children? I think they're her cousins. That is the end of part one. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example.
Hello, Tom. Can I ask you some questions? All right. What's your family name? Hill. Can you spell that? H, I, L, L. Thank you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. And、uh, where do you live, Tom? Fifteen High Street. Can you spell high, please? H, I, G, H. Two. Now, how old are you, Tom? Ten. It was my birthday last week. You're very tall. Yes, all my family are tall. Three. Now, what's your father's name? John, like my older brother. So there are two Johns in the family. Yes. Four. And your mother's name? It's Claire. Is that C L A R E? That's right. Five. Now, what's the matter? My neck hurts. Is it very bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. Now listen to part two again. One. And、uh, where do you live, Tom? Fifteen High Street. Can you spell high, please? H, I. G, H. Two. Now, how old are you, Tom? Ten. It was my birthday last week. You're very tall. Yes, all my family are tall. Three. Now. What's your father's name? John, like my older brother. So there are two Johns in the family. Yes. Four. And your mother's name? It's Claire. Is that C L A R E? That's right. Five. Now, what's the matter? My neck hurts. Is it very bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Jim do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Jim. What did you do last week? Well, on Saturday when it rained, I helped Mum. We painted my bedroom. Wow! It looks great now, Aunt Lucy. Can you see the line from the word Saturday? On Saturday, Jim painted his bedroom. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What did you do on Friday? Um, we went shopping. It rained that day. 
That's right. Where did you go in the town? Only to the supermarket to buy some food. Two. What did you do on Wednesday? We drove to a lake. I went with my friend and his parents. Oh, what did you do there? We had a picnic. And did you swim there too? Yes, but it was cold. Three. I went in a boat on Thursday. No, sorry, it was Sunday. Where? At the beach. Dad and I went there in the morning. Did you enjoy that? Yes, but it was windy, so it was difficult. Four. And what did you do on Tuesday? Tuesday? Yes. Did you go to the beach that day too? No, I went to the new bookshop. The town was very busy. Oh. I wanted to get a present for Dad. Five. What about Monday? The weather wasn't good again that day. I went to my friend's flat. What did you do? We watched a DVD about someone who had a big sailing boat. Did you enjoy it? It was okay. Now listen to part three again. One. What did you do on Friday? Um, we went shopping. It rained that day. That's right. Where did you go in the town? Only to the supermarket to buy some food. Two. What did you do on Wednesday? We drove to a lake. I went with my friend and his parents. Oh, what did you do there? We had a picnic. And did you swim there too? Yes, but it was cold. Three. I went in a boat on Thursday. No, sorry, it was Sunday. Where? At the beach. Dad and I went there in the morning. Did you enjoy that? Yes, but it was windy, so it was difficult. Four. And what did you do on Tuesday? Tuesday. Yes. Did you go to the beach that day too? No, I went to the new bookshop. The town was very busy. Oh. I wanted to get a present for Dad. Five. What about Monday? The weather wasn't good again that day. I went to my friend's flat. What did you do? We watched a DVD about someone who had a big sailing boat. Did you enjoy it? It was okay. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Which is Ben's brother's car? My brother's got a new car. Oh, which one is it, Ben? That small one? No, it's a beautiful big one. Is it blue? No, his last car was blue. This one's red. Can you see the tick? Now you listen. And tick the box. One. What sport does Ben's brother do? What sport does your brother do, Ben? He plays basketball every weekend. Does he like swimming or tennis? No, he doesn't. 
Two. Where does Ben's brother work? Where does your brother work, Ben? Here in the town. Yes, but where? In a school? No, he works in the zoo. Where's that? It's near the library. Oh yes. Three. How did Ben go to his grandparents' house? Did you see your grandparents at the weekend, Ben? Yes, we did. I was very happy. Did you go by bus? No, the bus is very slow. We flew there. Oh, did you? Yes, it's quicker than the train. Four. What can Ben give his sister for her birthday? It's my sister's birthday on Saturday. What can I give her, Daisy? Does she like dolls? No, she doesn't. What about a dress? She never wears dresses. She likes playing football with me. You can give her a ball then. Oh yes. Five. What's Ben's sister's favourite food? Do you want to come to my sister's birthday party, Daisy? Thanks. Have you got a birthday cake? Yes, but my sister doesn't like cake. What's her favourite food? Burgers. She likes bananas best. She sometimes eats ten every day. Now listen to part four again. One. What sport does Ben's brother do? What sport does your brother do, Ben? He plays basketball every weekend. Does he like swimming or tennis? No, he doesn't. Two. Where does Ben's brother work? Where does your brother work, Ben? Here in the town. Yes, but where? In a school? No, he works in the zoo. Where's that? It's near the library. Oh yes. Three. How did Ben go to his grandparents' house? Did you see your grandparents at the weekend, Ben? Yes, we did. I was very happy. Did you go by bus? No. The bus is very slow. We flew there. Oh, did you? Yes, it's quicker than the train. Four. What can Ben give his sister for her birthday? It's my sister's birthday on Saturday. What can I give her, Daisy? Does she like dolls? No, she doesn't. What about a dress? She never wears dresses. She likes playing football with me. You can give her a ball then. Oh yes. Five. What's Ben's sister's favourite food? Do you want to come to my sister's birthday party, Daisy? Thanks. Have you got a birthday cake? Yes, but my sister doesn't like cake. What's her favourite food? Burgers. She likes bananas best. She sometimes eats ten every day. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the sofa in the living room? Yes, I can see it. Well, colour it green. Okay. Can you see the green sofa? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. 
There's a chair in the bathroom. Can you see it? Yes, I can. I want you to colour it. What colour? Yellow. OK, a yellow chair. Two. Now I want you to draw something. Good. What shall I draw? Can you draw a table? Where? In the bedroom. Draw a small table between the bed and the cupboard. Shall I draw it now? Yes, please. That's right. Between the bed and the cupboard. Three. Now you can colour again. Good. Can you see the cupboards in the kitchen? Yes. What colour shall I do? Colour them brown, please. Right. Four. Now you can draw something again. Good. Can you draw a cat? Yes. Where? In the bedroom. Draw a big black cat sleeping on the bed. Like my cat? Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful cat. Five. Now I want you to colour one more thing. Good. What shall I colour? The mat, please. Which one? In the living room. Can I colour it red? Yes, that's a good colour for a mat. Now listen to part five again. One. There's a chair in the bathroom. Can you see it? Yes, I can. I want you to colour it. What colour? Yellow. OK, a yellow chair. Two. Now I want you to draw something. Good. What shall I draw? Can you draw a table? Where? In the bedroom. Draw a small table between the bed and the cupboard. Shall I draw it now? Yes, please. That's right. Between the bed and the cupboard. Three. Now you can colour again. Good. Can you see the cupboards in the kitchen? Yes. What colour shall I do? Colour them brown, please. Right. Four. Now you can draw something again. Good. Can you draw a cat? Yes. Where? In the bedroom. Draw a big black cat sleeping on the bed. Like my cat? Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful cat.
Five. Now I want you to colour one more thing. Good. What shall I colour? The mat, please. Which one? In the living room. Can I colour it red? Yes, that's a good colour for a mat. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 3.